Hello everyone, it's Kelly here, and today we are going to review our human rights topic for the month of June, which is self-advocacy. As we've talked about in past lessons, advocacy is to publicly support an idea or a cause. And so we reviewed in the past how we can advocate for a variety of reasons. But today we are going to look at how we can advocate for ourselves. So when we think about self-advocacy, this is the action of communicating about one's interests or views. And so when we think about advocating for ourselves, we need to first think about the following questions. We need to think about what is important to me? What do I need? What do I want? What do I need to learn to reach my goals? And what support will help me reach my goals? So first, let's talk about what is important to me. So when we think about this topic, we think about maybe our living arrangements, um, our employment, hobbies, um, vacations, and most importantly, a lot of times, our relationships with other people. Next, when we think about what do I need? So these are things that we must have to survive. And so we can think about our needs currently, um, or we can think about our needs in the future. But we wanna prioritize or put highest up on our list those things that involve our health and safety. Now next, we can think about what do I want? And so this question calls us to think about our goals for the future, for the short term, so maybe the next couple months, over the next year, and then the long term, which could be over the next few years. So we can prioritize, you know, what we want to see happen in our lives. So next, what do I need to learn to reach my goals? And so we can think about, you know, our, our goals in the program or at home, you know, different objectives that we might have and how that can help us to move towards our goals for the future you know so thinking about different skills like i know people have talked in the past about wanting to live on their own in an apartment and so we talk about the importance of learning things like laundry skills cooking skills you know um, health skills you know these are all skills that will help you to reach that future goal of living on your own and then lastly what support will help me reach my goals and so we can think about trusted people who can help us, you know, like family members, staff, providers, friends. We can think about organizations. We can think about maybe making a certain amount of money. Um, these are all things that we can think about that will help support us in reaching our goals. Now, we might advocate for ourselves um, during discussions with family members, maybe a discussion with your team, maybe at your annual meeting. Um, or maybe even on a day-to-day -day basis as you make decisions. And advocating for yourself is really important. And, um, you know, if there is one person who should have an influence over your life and the decisions that are made, that should be you. <laughs> you know, you need to be involved in those decisions. And so when we think about advocating, um, we, you know, we wanted to talk about, you know, things that we need to think about when we are advocating for ourselves. And so it's important first that we have a knowledge of our rights. And so we provided you guys with the human rights training tool that reviews all human rights that we cover in our programs. And so we believe that these rights are applicable to all people and we train everyone, including our staff, about the importance of these rights. So I thought I could take a moment just to review those human rights again. So you have the right to be treated with dignity and respect. You have the right to a safe environment. You have the right to make informed choices about medications and to be informed about their side effects. You have the right to send and receive mail. You have the right to make and receive personal telephone calls. You have the right to express yourself be heard and be informed about world events. You cannot be made to leave your home or program without your consent. You have the right to nutritional food and nutritional food cannot be denied to you. 
You have the right to be protected from humiliation, retaliation, and financial exploitation. You have the right to earn wages and be paid for the work that you do. You have the right to be protected from mistreatment, abuse, and neglect. You have the right and responsibility to report any alleged mistreatment to the Disabled Persons Protection Commission. You have the right to file grievances and complaints and to present them to the Human Rights Committee if you wish. You have the right to freedom of movement. You have the right to make choices. You have the right to choose whether your picture, photograph, or other identifiable information is used in the media. You have the right to privacy. You have the right to carry and possess your own personal possessions. You have the right to have your personal information treated with confidentiality. You have the right to express your religious beliefs and not be discriminated against. You have the right to see friends and have visitors. You have the right to participate in your ISP or IP or planning process. You have the right to be part of the voting process and to be helped to vote. You have the right to use the bathroom and drink water and neither can be denied. You have the right to assistance in a timely and effective manner. You have the right to make informed decisions and you have the right to be informed of legal resources available to you. So these are the human rights that, um, that we all have. And so it's important to have a knowledge of what these rights are. So next you wanna practice good leadership skills when you are advocating for yourself. So you wanna be able to make a plan, be willing to make adjustments to your plan and find people who can help to motivate you along the way. You also wanna have a good knowledge of yourself. And so that's why answering the questions that we talked about before can be a really helpful way to know what your preferences are, what's important to you, and what your goals are for the future. And lastly, it's important to practice good communication skills. We want to communicate calmly and respectfully as we advocate, um, even when we feel like we aren't being heard. And it can be helpful to write down our thoughts beforehand, you know, especially if there's many different points that you want to make. So these are just some things to think about as um, you work to advocate for yourself each day. And we at the Center of Hope, we wanna help you reach your goals. So if there are ways that we can help you to reach short-term or long-term goals, we absolutely want you to let us know. So we hope that you all have a great day. We hope this information is helpful and we look forward to seeing you all in the Zoom calls later.